Hello, you want to tell us about your plane? This one? Yeah. Uh, it's a Steve Shoemate Raptor. It's an FA-22 Raptor from Jet Set 44, similar to the uh, Sequoia SU-37 and the, uh, the Talon. Um, it's a hundred and, God, I have to look at all the specs. I think it's 130%. It's, it's scaled up about a 36 inch wingspan. Uh, thrust vectoring is, it has thrust vectoring. It's turned off for today. Uh, I'll put all the, the details on the sidebar or, or something like that. Um, it also has gyroscopes. I've got them dialed way back. It's got gyros on the roll and the pitch axis. And uh, it's a little windy today, so we're not sure entirely if we're going to fly it or not. We're going to at least destroy the other plane. And uh, then we'll, maybe we'll give this one a shot. So. Up here. It's the gyros playing with should they should they be doing that? It's the gyros, yeah. The little chattering. Okay. It's hooked up here. And he has this rig so that when he steps on the metal bar. This guy should go flying. Uh, okay. adjustments here. So explain, as soon as you launch, then you turn on the engine? Hopefully. Oh, great. Wow. Get up there. Baby. Get up there. Wow, what did that look like? Work like can. a charm. Well done, Carl Eidick. She's beautiful. Return, return. Oh, man. You know, this is the first time I've tried to do it with this camera. I'm having a real hard time following it. Just keep doing your best. Keep walking up maybe a little bit so you close the distance. Bring it in. You can get the phone. Cool.
walk out to him, he said. Walk out to him. Perfect. I couldn't ask for better. That was absolutely what I wanted. It was a little nose heavy, so it was sluggish on the elevator, but without the thrust vectoring on, that's to be expected. I mean, it's uh, it flew great, really stable. The gyros were, I, mean, I have them way down, but they seemed like it was just on. It's it, uh, very, very stable. Obviously, it's windy, and uh, aside from a little hairy moment there getting it off the ground, uh, it's, uh, I don't know how much it showed up on the camera, but it skimmed the ground for a second. And, uh, you know, is it, I might as well get it off the ground, pull up, and it went up. And I may have cut the motor on a second too early. I think I might have heard it uh, nick something. But we'll look at the bungee launcher. I think it's okay. 